Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribble from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Rem Here it is. Uh, just... You couldn't hit a cow's ass with a sitter. <laughs> you do have an eye for opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. They're not expecting Queen Parrot. Anything with fins will do. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? All the blistered fish they could ever want. Ah, that burnt reek. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father Lord, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing shaken, gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you.
it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. You reached a new milestone. remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Timber. Very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Where did you 
See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Life is so so. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Morning is eased, now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. milestone. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles.
by cut cheeks. Fields might help. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cast! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have. Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? Workforce shortage.
system is missing. When will you show your family some gratitude? Tell me you've managed something. Managed something. Fancy making a while the sun shines, Master. Ba ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more! This city will be... A life away from Edvard? We're on board. Only, we've no shit to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Entirely marvelous to meet you. And that we may show truth or or any Everybody on board? Good. I, I I shiver at the thought of staying. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. A 
abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the Crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. You reached a new milestone. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Not much in the way of common dignity. Workforce shortage. There aren't enough of us.
workforce shortage. A competitor raised a settlement. A competitor raised a settlement. Take the stuff without a warehouse. A competitor raised a settlement. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Damn you!
We lack the requisite materials. Look busy, people! I'm only a cog. It's you what pulls the levers. Grease the wheels, Governor. Cure! A promise kept. Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, be sure to return any salvage to me. Town don't have a warehouse. No space left here. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. 
open the letter. He's clearly up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Are those father trusted most? Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Stores are inundated! What is it you are bringing? Did he really? Oh dear, uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? We are all of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See the masts are swaying from father's study.
You need a warehouse, you do. An explosion in one of your factories. An explosion in one of your factories. of cabins. The fire has been vanquished. Drink. I need something to blunt my rake. raised a settlement. Governor's here.
a competitor raised a settlement. a skeletal work gang. If it's a lockout, we've a right to know that... We need something first. family. Whole place has gone up. We 
earned this. City's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. A perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. So you build...